This is a tub of the ultimate car wax. It costs £6,000. Made from rare carnauba wax found in northern Brazil. There are just two tubs of it in Britain. This one belongs to Paul Dalton, who we reckon is the world's best car cleaner. Almost every day he's cleaning an Enzo or a Zonda, and specialists like Lamborghini Wickham, with their roster of eminent collectors and celebrity clients, only use Paul. He charges up to five grand to wash a car, using exact science and clinical precision. He's agreed to reveal to us each step of the process. This is basically a citrus degreaser, which will remove all the uh, grime which is on the lower half of the vehicle. It's uh, 55 pounds for five litres. Not a cheap product, but it's definitely the best. Step two is rinsing the car, but not with water straight out of the tap. Paul keeps it around 35 degrees C to be kind to the car. Step three is sponging on the suds. A 65 pound bucket imported from America is filled with a pH neutral shampoo. Every product is chosen with the utmost care. A car like this Maserati MC12 is worth half a million quid and you wouldn't want to damage its paint. Uh, if to respray uh, an MC12, you could be looking at, I would have said around about 25, 30,000 pounds or more, I would have said. But I have to be very careful, basically. <laughs> with all this attention to detail, we couldn't help wondering whether Paul's at the half had become a car wash widow. I think sometimes she might get a little bit jealous because I spend more attention to cars than my girlfriend. <laughs> After more rinsing, the next step is to towel the car dry. No chamois leathers here, just high-tech microfiber blankets. Then it's onto the wheels with a special gel. Basically, it's a wheel gel that won't corrode the wheels or uh, damage them in any way. There's a lot of products out there which are basically acid, um, and primarily their main job is to clean concrete, not wheels. This is uh, about £75 for five litres. Well, one of my customers, uh, he's got a £120,000 uh, GT2 Porsche. Being jet black, it had the same problems, swell marks and light scratches at the beginning, uh, but now it's absolutely perfect. And uh, he basically sits in his garage with a glass of wine and looks at it, <laughs> which is, uh, I think, fabulous, really. But I've managed to be able to transform his vehicle um, to better than when he picked it up. Most people would be happy to eat their dinner off this, but not Paul. To him, the car is still filthy. To reflect light perfectly, you need a mirror finish. And this special 20-pound block of clay picks up microscopic bits of dirt that would otherwise diffuse the light. But the paint still isn't perfectly flat. There are hundreds of fine scratches preventing a deep gloss. It's out with the ultrasound depth gauges worth £3,000. And this is so Paul can work out how much paint he's got to play with before he starts rubbing the scratches out a thousandth of a millimetre at a time. The rubbing compound has got rid of the scratches, but Paul still doesn't consider the car clean enough to wax. Once the lacquer is perfectly re-level, this is prepping the paintwork ready for the wax. Um, you're looking at around about £35 a bottle for this. You're looking at about £16 for two towels, basically, which is uh, a lot more expensive than towels I dry myself with. At the end of the day, it's finally time for the six grand wax, all lovingly massaged in by hand. When it's in there, it's an enzyme. Uh, the warmth of your hands and uh, the air acts as a catalyst to turn it into a wax. So it's not actually a wax until it's on, on the vehicle. It will set harder than concrete and should last about six months. The luster is undeniable, but this has been a relative Catholic by Paul's standards. He's already got two Bugatti Veyron owners signed up to his top-of-the-range 61-step car wash. 
So, does nothing phase him? Biggest nightmare is bird droppings. A client can ring me up at any time and I'll jump in the van and basically go to wherever they are to clean it off. Next up is the Icon. Look. Funny how 450 horsepower makes you instantly more confident. It's got some wonderful grunt this thing, doesn't it? Yeah. Torque is your friend. Hard left before the pile. 